My name is John Neal. I've been a plumbing designer for over 30 years. A plumbing designer designs plumbing systems for new construction and renovations. I got a phone call. We had a problem on one of our projects. Now this project's already done. The owner is occupied for six months. The problem was we had a drain problem. The drain problem was the fact that the piping had collapsed, causing the floor to collapse. I said, how does cast iron pipe collapse? Well, it turns out it wasn't cast iron, it was PVC. Somewhere in the process, they value engineered cast iron to PVC, and then the contractor installed it right up to the dish machine. The dish machine poured 190 degree water down it and melted it. So now the owner's got a problem. He can't use his dish machine, and this is an operating hospital. So now they've got to dig up their floor, repair the pipe, redo the floor, all the while trying to maintain meals for their patients. If a healthcare facility accepts a value engineered item, it may save money up front, but in the long run, it's gonna affect the engineer, it's gonna affect the owner, it's gonna affect the contractor, it might even affect the patients. My advice is to always stick with the engineer's or designer's specifications. They call it value engineering for a reason. You're losing value. 